absolute eosinophil count by improved newborn chamber the objectives this test determines the total number of eosinophils present per microliter of whole blood using venous sample diluting fluid and microscope and precautions to be taken during the procedure blood is diluted with diluting fluid containing a dye which stains the eosinophils red and the granules dark brown to black the rbc's are lysed the eosinophils are then counted under low power in a known volume by using the newborn chamber equipment hemocytometer with wbc pipette eosinophil diluting fluid which is henkelmann's fluid the composition of henkelmann's fluid is eosin yellow 0.5 g formaldehyde 40% 0.5 ml phenol 95% aqueous 0.5 ml distilled water 100 ml compound microscope cover slips lancets and spirit swabs method take eosinophil diluting fluid in a tube wipe the finger to be pricked with spirit swab let the spirit dry then prick the finger after pricking the finger wipe off the first drop aspirate the second drop of blood into the wbc pipette exactly up to 0.5 mark and dilute it with diluting fluid by aspirating the fluid up to 11 mark this gives a dilution of 1 in 20 Gently rotate the pipette at least 3 to 4 minutes in the palm of the hand to ensure proper mixing of the blood and the fluid. Prepare the counting chamber. Clean the mirror-like polished surface carefully with lens paper. The cover slip is also cleaned. The cover slip is placed over the counting surface prior to putting on the cell suspension. expel unmixed and relatively cell free fluid from the capillary portion of the pipette which is usually 4 drops charge the counting chamber by allowing a small drop of fluid to form at the top of the pipette and gently bringing it into contact with the edge of the cover slip that is already placed on the chamber after charging the chamber time should be given for the cells to settle down but counting should be started before the fluid in the chamber starts drying up note if the mixture overflows into the moat or air bubbles occur clean and dry the chambers remix the contents of the pipette and refill both the chambers under low power objective identify and check the distribution of eosinophils in the nine squares recharge the chamber if the distribution is not uniform microscopic examination set the microscope and focus place the newbar chamber on the microscope stage if the microscope has a fixing clamp fix the newbar chamber turn on the microscope light place the condenser at the lowest position and close the diaphragm focus the microscope until you can see a sharp image of the cells looking through the eyepiece and adjusting the stage all nine squares should be used for eosinophil counting count all the eosinophils lying within the square and those touching the upper and the right hand lines the cells that touch the left hand and bottom lines are not to be counted enter your observations in the corresponding squares let us call this number as n calculation Number of eosinophils per microliter of blood is equal to number of cells counted that is n multiplied by dilution that is 20 divided by the area counted which is 9 square millimeters multiplied by depth of the fluid that is 0.1 millimeters which is equal to n multiplied by 22.2 so the multiplication factor becomes 22.2 thus you will get total count of eosinophils per microliter of blood precautions prick should be bold enough to give free flowing blood at no stage the finger should be squeezed to take out the blood both the chamber and the cover slip should be dry and free from grease use only dry pipette never use a broken cover slip
Before charging the chamber, the fluid from the stem of the pipette should be discarded. The cover slip should be placed symmetrical so as to cover the ruled area completely. There should be no under or overcharging of the chamber. The count will be low in both the cases. After charging the chamber, time should be given for the cells to settle down. But counting should be started before the fluid in the chamber starts drying up. Reference range for eosinophils is 40 to 440 per microliter of blood.